Hi, this is Eugene with Darkroom Software. In this quick video, we're going to learn how to set up a few of the sharing options in Darkroom Booth for iPad. First, if you haven't subscribed, you'll want to log into your subscription, uh, as these are only available in the Pro account. So the first thing we're going to do is click on Saving and we're going to select a Dropbox account and click Link Account. Click Continue and Allow. You'll, you'll have to log into your Dropbox account there. I'm already logged in via the iPad. So we've set up Dropbox. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to set up a, a microsite using um, Event Gallery by Darkroom Software. So what you'll do is you'll go and log into your Event Gallery website and go to your um, settings and then you're going to grab your API key. I've emailed it to myself so I'm going to just copy the API key and Event Gallery is a paid service. It works with Darkroom Booth for iPad as well as Darkroom Booth for PC and Darkroom Core or as a standalone service. It allows you to host your images and share them via a website. So I've typed in my API key and I click send to test it and it is connecting. So next thing we're going to do is move on to email. Oh. Click save changes and then sharing and we're going to click uh, under the SMTP server. We're going to go ahead and set up a Gmail account. So the host for that is smtp.gmail.com. And the port we're going to use is 587. And then your username is going to be your email address. I'll go ahead and type in my email address for Gmail. And then your password is your Gmail password. And then your email address is your email address again. And then we'll put in a test email account to te uh, send it to. I'm going to use my darkroom email account. And it has connected successfully. So we're going to click save changes. Uh, and the email from name would be the name that you're sending from. So this could be your name or your company name. So I'll put in my name. And then your reply email address. This can be the same email address or a different email address. And we'll go ahead and enable email sharing. Next thing we're going to move on to is we're going to scroll down and set up our SMS provider. So you can use Twilio or MessageBird. These are both paid services. You're, I'm going to set up a Twilio account and the number I'm going to enter, or this is your phone number. So you'll want to make sure you add the country code and then the area code. So one, because I'm in the US, and then the phone number. Oops. And then, well, Copy 
be the SID and then the authorization token paste and then you'll type in your cell phone number to test it out and you'll want to remember to type in the country code one more time and then hit send and I can see that it's saying that it is successfully sent and I've received a test message on my cell phone so we'll go ahead and save the settings enable so it is important that you you have uh, some sort of cloud saving in order to use the SMS option so we'll go back over to our saving oops save uh, and make sure that we have um, all the different storage options selected that we might use for sending SMS because it is grabbing those images from your cloud storage. So that's why you need to have either Dropbox or OneDrive configured to use that option. So we'll go ahead and save changes and that's it for setting up your different sharing options. So you'll want to go ahead and test those out each option and make sure that they're working. I hope this has been helpful. Thank you for watching.